Hey cuties, so as you all know, I've been living in this here basement, sleeping on this here air mattress, using this here makeshift closet, and storing clothes in this here dresser, which is broken. As much as I love it down here, and that's only partially sarcastic because I do enjoy the privacy, the time has come for me to move out of this basement and into another basement, but with a window. For those of you who don't know, which I'm assuming is all of you, this was my old bedroom. My sister Emily stayed in here and she recently left to see her family in Thailand again after over a year because, you know, the whole pandemic. Anyway, sister, if you're watching this, my life is nothing but a void without you in it. Now that this room is vacant once more, it's time to move back in. But first... Just kidding! Let's rewind a little bit first. Before I could start painting, I had to go through the entire room, organize it, and clear it out. Let me tell you guys, this took forever. I mean, forever. I even had to go through the closet so I could make space for the things in the room that I was boxing up. To you, this will only be a few seconds. But in reality, this was an all-day project. But I persevered. Now, back to the painting montage. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the- <coughs> Sorry. In the beginning, I got away with not having to move much furniture. As you can see, I only had this curtain, this mirror, and this dresser. All of which I moved with my super strong muscles because I'm absolutely red. You just can't see my massive biceps because the shirt I was wearing was so oversized. Obviously. Once the furniture was out of the way, and once I was done screaming over the spider carcass I found, we were ready to paint. Here I am, once again, moving furniture with my wicked strong, very big, super duper large muscles. This took some time because I had to move all my books, which I initially tried grabbing like this for some unknown reason. Anyway, after that, we painting. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> Typo. After that, we painted. And painted. painted. Miss Elizabeth working all by herself. Do you want to say anything? Hey. Day two. Coat two. Cheers. The fuck? So, if anyone's wondering how to preserve your paintbrushes and rollers, wrap it in a wet cloth, wrap that with cling wrap or a plastic bag, and stick it in the fridge. It's perfect. Hello cutie pies, it's me again. I hope you all enjoyed painting montages because that's all this video is. So, this second round of painting took a bit longer because one, I wanted to make sure the top coat looked nice, so I actually had to take my time, and two, I wanted to make sure there was absolutely no remnants of pink paint left on these walls. It also didn't help that I got a bit of a late start because I had to spend my morning at the DMV and that went well. Hi guys, so a bit of a story time. I woke up at 7.30 to get ready for the DMV so I could get there as soon as it opened, uh, hoping that it wouldn't be busy. Well, it was, it was still, still busy. Um, that's okay, I took all my documents with me. I was gonna get the real ID, grab my ticket, I'm waiting in line. I get called back, I'm here for the real ID. All right, let me see your documentation. I set it all on the counter with confidence. And she points to my social security and she goes, is this your address? And I look and I'm like, no. You know what, ma'am? It's not my address. <laughs> so I got sent back home. Don't worry, 
I did not let this deter me. So here I am painting away, and I guess now is the part where I tell you that we didn't bother laying down any floor coverings because this room is getting new carpet. I say this now because when you see this next clip, I don't want you to freak out or anything. So, <laughs> we had our first accident. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, luckily that was our only accident and we finished the room, no problem. So we're done. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm back with another narration. This obviously wasn't my original intention, as you can see. I did film myself talking, but I decided that I didn't want to use this footage because the video quality is absolute poo-poo, because my camera decided to focus more on my steering wheel than it did myself. Anyway, all I was saying here is how the room took a long time to paint because of the bright pink color. I also got into a bit of the history of the room and how it used to be neon green. Yikes! And how it's nice to have the walls white again because the room is just much brighter that way and blah blah blah. The main point of this clip was to talk about the dresser I'm refurbishing and how it's going to be a lot of work because like the dingus I was and still sort of am, I decided to paint it without sanding it first. Honestly, if I could go back in time and slap myself, trust me, I would. So. All I can do now is try and fix it, but that's a video for another time because it's turning into quite the project. So that's all for now, cuties. See you in the next video. Peace. Oh my gosh, I keep getting bit by this fly! All right, I'm getting out Now, back to the painting. Stop barking.